Infrastructure continues to be the road to development and a key building block in the same as it enables easing of movement, improving security, water supply and keep the fun in sports. In the county of Kisi, billions of shillings have been invested in the pursuit of a trade and infrastructure development. The spine with stretches and curves, dressed in tarmac and shouldered by different elements of different jungles, trees and buildings. The view of Kisi town, which has a mix of tarmac and maram roads, some of which are improvements from past years. We've probably done between 1,000 to 1,500 kilometers of maram road. There's nowhere you can go uh, which is not motoring. And what that means is that you're actually opening up the rural area for business. There are new bypass roads which have been constructed, thereby easing movement within and through the county and by extension, easing trade. And trade is a big deal in Kisi. And there being limited space, there has been great need to have organized markets and further add value to the facilities which have been set up. We have also ensured that in all those markets there is electricity, either through Kenya Power or through solar. We put up very many solar lights, about 500 across the county. Many of the businesses are in the informal sector, small scale, but are growing. One of the challenges that is witnessed in counties is high taxation, which the traders say is a huge burden. What I have told them is to ensure that they attend our public participation meetings so that they are able to give their own views. Where they attend and give views, uh, I normally talk with the county assembly so that we moderate the amount of taxation that we are giving out. While it receives a lot of rainfall, the county still faces water supply challenges. However, the completion of the rehabilitation of the Kegati water project spells hope for the end of this, according to the county government.